Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma Lefebvre and today I'm going to show you how to paint three different simple trees that only take about five minutes each to paint. So let's jump right in and start. Okay, so today I am going to show you three simple tree shapes that are actually really easy and quick to do. So let's jump right in. Okay, so we're going to be going through three different shapes. We're going to have one that's more of an oval shape, one that's more of like a cone shape, like a triangle, and then one that is more of an elongated tree. Okay, so I'm just going to pick a green and on this, for the first wash, we're going to do a lighter green. So I have a sap green here. I might even add a little bit of my cadmium yellow to it. And we're going to think of an oval shape. Okay. And all you're going to do is you're going to take your brush on like a 45 degree angle and you're just going to kind of tap. Okay. You want to leave some white space. You don't want it to be too, too full. See the little white spaces there. Okay. Cause we're going to do some tiny little branches in between after, and we're just starting with a lighter, wash. It's pretty light. I just turned my lights down a bit so it's not super bright. Okay. So we have this like oval shape and then I might have some extra little pieces that are just kind of sticking out just a bit that aren't really connected to anything yet like that. Okay. So we have our light wash there. Then you're going to grab a medium wash. So I mix the first wa wash with yellow. I'm just going to take a medium kind of green, sap green. And I'm actually gonna pick where my light source is. So let's say our light source is coming from here. So our sun's coming from this way. So we're gonna have more shadow on this side. And I'm just gonna start tapping around here. So our lightest part is gonna be over here and the darkest part is gonna be on this side. And we're just gonna tap, 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 tap like that. Okay. If you want a little bit more brightness on the light side, you can always add just like a little bit more yellow or something right there. Okay. Now we're going to take our next green. So it's going to be our darkest green. I'm going to use perlene green. If you want to mix your sap green or your hocus green with purple to make it a bit darker, you can do that. But then we're just going to do our third layer. And this is all still wet. Okay. So they're kind of bleeding into each other. And I'm just popping it in there. Simple, simple. Okay, just tapping. I'm not dragging. I'm just kind of tapping to make these marks. Like so. All right. Nice and simple. And that is basically the body of our tree. So now I'm going to take a smaller brush. I'm actually going to take my size two round brush. Wet it up. I'm going to take some burnt umber and I'm just going to do the tree trunk here. Like so. And then I'm just going to, I'm actually going to blend it out at the bottom after. I'm going to add a bit more color and I'm just going to have some branches kind of coming up and connecting to the tree. Like so you can have little branches like that. You can even add a little bit more green later if you want some of those branches like sticking out and then all those little white areas, you are going to add little branches kind of poking through and it's going to bleed into the green a bit, but that's fine. This is more of a loose tree, right? But using all those little white spaces that we created have little peekaboo branches kind of coming through. I'm actually going to use a darker brown because they'd be kind of more in a shadow in here. Okay. And while this is still wet, I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow onto this side, especially you're like right under the tree, there would be a shadow. And then right along the side here. 
And while that's still wet, I'm actually going to wash off my brush, dry it a bit, and just kind of blend out the bottom a bit. And you can always just add a bit more so it bleeds out a bit if you like. Grabbing my dark brown again, like that. But having those branches connect through the little white spaces. Okay, and if you want to add a little bit more after, like you can have some branches kind of coming out and then grab your green and just have a little extra. Oops, I dropped a bunch of water there, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Grab our darker green for that side. Okay, and we're just tapping like that. And honestly, that's it. Okay, I have a little bit of green kind of blending into my trunk here, but I can just add a little bit more brown up in there. Add a little bit of texture like that. And that's honestly it. Super, super simple. Okay, so now that we have that oval shape, let's do more of like a cone kind of shape. So not necessarily an evergreen tree. Um, we're doing more leafy green trees today, um, but I want you to think more of a cone shape. So I'm going to do like a yellow kind of birch tree. So I'm going to grab cadmium yellow to start. I'm going to wet up my yellow ochre too, because that's going to be a darker leaf on there. But we're going to start off with our brighter one. And again, same thing. We're just tapping. Brush on an angle and just tap, 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 tap. Leaving that white space. Okay, if you want to draw an outline of a shape, like a cone or an oval to help you, you can. If you're having a hard time visualizing the shape, you can definitely do that. Whatever works for you, but just try and tap your color into that shape. And I'm just using my size 12 brush for this. Nothing too fancy. Also try not to make it like a perfect circle or like an oval or a perfect cone, right? You wanna kinda of go for that shape but not like completely a triangle, you know what I mean? Cause trees are uneven. They don't grow that way unless they're pruned. <laughs> that way you can have some like pieces coming out that way. Maybe it's a little heavier on the top on this side. It's just giving you an idea of the kind of shape. Okay, sorry, I keep hitting my mic with my brush. Now I'm going to go into my yellow ochre, just a slightly darker yellow. Again, think of where your light source is. Again, I'm going to do this side. I'm just going to tap it all around this side, the right side. Like so. Okay. And then I'm going to take some burnt umber as my darkest color. And I'm just going to start tapping it in. I think I might like section the tree. So I might do go in here, come back out, and then come back in here. I don't know, I'm just playing around. So it looks like there's kind of like tiers to it. Like there's a section up here, a section in the middle, a section in the bottom. If that makes sense, Oops. I'm gonna mix it with my yellow just so it's not as dark brown. You can have a little bit over there. You don't want it to be too flat over there. Grab a bit more. Like so. Simple, nice fall tree. Okay, and then this one, let's do like a birch trunk. So I'm going to actually grab a really light wash of black to make a nice, oh, is that black? That's my black, isn't it? Why is it blue? I think I mixed some blue in there. It's okay. And I'm just going to do a light wash of a trunk here. I feel like birch trees are a bit more like taller and whatever, but just to show you a different kind of trunk, I'm just going to use mostly water so it's really light because their trunks are white and then have a little bit of black or gray accent to it. We can blend it out at the bottom here. OK, 
Okay, and then, why is my black contaminated? <laughs> Oops, that's fine. Then I'm just gonna, again, tap, the, why is it blue? Okay, I'm gonna tap the one side, and I'm just gonna do like little lines coming across while it's still wet, okay? And I'm just gonna have some branches coming up in between with this light kind of black color. That's like, we're light gray. <laughs> and you can have some branches coming down. Okay. Like so. And just through the trees. And if it bleeds, that's fine. This is more of a loose tree, right? We're not doing realism. We want it to have that watercolor look and feel. Like so. And again, if you want to use Add some extra branches and then add some extra leaves and color and stuff like that after. You definitely can. I'm just going to grab some more of my yellow. Just tap. brown like that okay so there is our yellowish tree okay then our last tree is going to be like a longer kind of tree <laughs> so I'm going to grab different green I'm going to grab my olive green just change it up a bit and what I want you to think of is like a long oval this way and then another oval and another oval. So we're just going to go again, side of the brush, just tapping like this. We have an oval here. Okay. And then we're going to do another oval below it, almost like a cloud shape. that and then another oval here like this okay and the way we shade this you want to do it so we can kind of see those ovally shapes <laughs> okay so I'm gonna take a dark green I'm gonna mix it with my olive green and I'm just gonna shade under this side of this oval, the underside of this oval, and the underside of this oval. See what I mean? So it's like one, two, three. Like so. I'm going to grab a bit darker green just to intensify the shadows just a bit. Like that. Okay. Then if you want, you can always add like a little bit of like yellow or something. So it's like really being kissed by the sun. Okay, I'm gonna grab my smaller brush and we're gonna do a tree trunk that's kind of wider. I saw this like, um, I forget where I saw this photo of this trees. I was looking up tree studies for my book. So these are kind of the ones that are in my book that are coming out in January, um, but it had like multiple tree trunks. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do one down here, it's a bit thinner and then it was like this way. 
ones of another one. Like that. Okay, these like wider tree trunks. Like so. Okay, so I'm going to blend it out a bit. Just blend it out a bit more. Okay, and then I'm going to add some of the darker brown. I'm using my sepia brown for this, and I'm just going to darken one side of the trunk and then like right under where the leaves are. Okay, like that, and then through the trees again. Can have some sticking out. Like that. And that's it. Those are our trees. They're super simple and beautiful to do for landscapes or whatever you want to add them to. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day guys. Bye.